Hi and welcome back. In this tutorial we're going to take a look at some of the different layout and preview tools that Dreamweaver provides to you to see the way your web pages are taking shape as you create them. For this particular tutorial I've chosen to open up the completed version of our project. If you want to go ahead and open up the completed version of the project, um, that's fine. If not, just go ahead and watch this video because um, this really doesn't depend on you having this exact website. This video is more about just seeing the way these tools work and then actually using them as we progress through the different um, steps in the videos. Now you can see here I'm in code view which is where the bulk of your work is going to take place um, inside of Dreamweaver. But again as you're designing your web pages you're going to need to be able to see the way your design is taking shape as you build out your code. And so that's what some of the other um, views inside of Dreamweaver will give you. And probably the one that people experience um, first is the design view here, which is really, um, it isn't accurately named. I think of this more as a layout view. When you click on that, it really isn't going to show you much more than the basic positioning of your elements. Um, you can see here um, our banner isn't being displayed. That's mainly because it's tied in with some JavaScript at this point. Um, our fonts aren't being displayed, and there's dotted lines all over the place. So again, this isn't really meant to be a preview. What it's really meant to do is to show you the layout of your page. And the dotted lines actually represent the borders of the different divs that you've gone ahead and created. For example, this is my social media div right here. And when I click on that dotted line that represents the edge, of that particular element, you can see that I get some additional visual aids here that tell me about the margin and the padding that I've placed on that particular element. And you can even see the value if you hover over that area in that little yellow tooltip. And if I click on the logo, you'll see again I get that exact same information there. So again, this is more about understanding the way your page is laid out, not really meant to be a preview. The first real preview um, that you're going to have access to comes when you click on the Live button right here. And when I do that, you're going to see that there's a few very noticeable changes. Um, you'll see the image appeared here after a short uh, break. The font is now being displayed those dotted lines are gone. This is going to give you a better idea of the way your page is actually going to look in a browser. But it's not actually a view from a browser. It's Dreamweaver's own internal view of your page. And there are some things that um, this view will show you um, very accurately and other things that it really won't show you very accurately. And for that reason, a lot of times people shun Live View or just use it as a real preliminary preview. Really, if you want to see the way your pages um, are going to look in a browser, you need to actually open them up in a browser and take a look at them. And you've seen up to this point, we've gone to the little globe icon here in our toolbar um, numerous times, and we've selected a browser to open our web page up in. And you can see here I have four browsers, Apple Safari, Firefox, Google Chrome, and Microsoft's Internet Explorer here. And again, these are the built-in browsers that are in your computer. And again, when you click on that item there, you'll see a preview comes up for that particular page in that particular browser. And your links will work in here and you'll see all the JavaScript start to run. And because these different browsers do display pages um, slightly differently, it is important to take a look at your website in all the major browsers that you can. Now unfortunately Apple has discontinued offering Safari for Windows, but you can still 
um, get a very good idea of the way your page is going to look in most major browsers just by looking at it in Internet Explorer, Google Chrome, and Firefox. If you have additional browsers loaded on your computer, let's say you still have the um, uh, version of Apple Safari loaded, or you want to um, test your page in, let's say, the Opera browser, you can always add browsers to this list. And let's go ahead and use Opera as our example. If I click here on Edit Browser List, you can see all the browsers here, and there's plus and minus signs right up here. And what that's basically going to allow you to do is either remove a browser that's already in this list, or if you click on the plus sign, it's going to allow you to add a new browser. And I said that I was going to add the Opera browser. And I do that just by typing in whatever I want to name that browser. And then clicking the Browse button here to go find that particular application. And if I click on that and scroll down just a little bit here, I'll see the Opera browser. And all I've got to do is select the actual executable file there. And then click Open and then OK, and you'll see that's now been added to that list. And again, at a minimum, you should be looking at your website in Internet Explorer, Firefox, and Chrome. Opera and Safari can be considered sort of secondary browsers to check your um, uh, website in. If you want to edit the names of the browsers as they appear here, you can click on the Edit button right here. You can also choose what's going to be the primary and secondary um, browsers, along with their keyboard shortcuts from this list. And when I click OK here and go back to my Preview and Browser, you can now see Preview and Opera is there. And when I select that, it opens up my web page in that particular browser. Now, for the most part, when you look at a web page in this preview mode, it's going to give you a very accurate representation of the way the web page is going to look in that browser. But one notable exception is Internet Explorer. If we take a look at this in Google Chrome again here, we can see my font showing up and we can see the rough spacing that we have here. But if I do that exact same thing in Internet Explorer, when I open up the page, and if you get this warning that says allow block content, you want to go ahead and click on that. Um, it'll open up that page. And let me go ahead and zoom that out there. But one thing you're going to notice is that the font is it, that I've chosen isn't showing up here. You can see actually even in Dreamweaver's live view the way that font is going to look and the way it's not appearing in um, Internet Explorer's preview mode. And that's because Internet Explorer deals with scripts very differently if you're viewing a web page that's on your local hard drive as compared to when you've actually published it to a web server. And a lot of people have gone through um, just a lot of pain getting the spacing to look right in Internet Explorer's local preview before they actually publish their page. Uh, only to realize that um, it wasn't a problem with their design. It was actually just a problem in the way Internet Explorer displays um, the web page. And I should say that this is actually true for Internet Explorer uh, version 9 and earlier. Version 10 actually fixes this problem and gives you a much more accurate um, preview of your pages. But still, ultimately, what you're going to want to do is actually upload your site to a web server and preview it in your different browsers from that um, place. And that will give you um, a 
you know, the accurate picture of the way your design is working out. Um, so for that reason, it's important, or I should say for Internet Explorer's purposes, it is important not only to preview these in a browser before you publish them to get an idea of the way um, they're going to look, but also to have a web server available to take a look at your um, design in Internet Explorer to publish and take a look at uh, the way it's going to look in Internet Explorer so you can see um, more accurately the way the spacing is going to um, look. And I suppose um, just to sort of sum that up, it's very important not to trust Internet Explorer's preview when you're actually previewing it a website from your hard drive. You can see here I'm actually on my hard drive and you can see none of my fonts are appearing here but and my spacing is slightly different but if I go to the actual published version of the site you can see my fonts are showing up and I can see accurately the way um, all of my spacing is going to lay out on the page. Um, Adobe also gives you something called Browser Lab that you can go in and view this on older versions of different browsers. Again, this is an emulation, a lot like Dreamweaver's Live View. Uh, it's not entirely accurate, but it is another way of um, previewing your pages in maybe browsers that you don't have access to. Um, as far as another uh, primary concern for seeing the way your pages are actually going to look in a browser is if you're on a Mac, you won't actually have access to Internet Explorer here. So Browser Lab can sort of solve that problem for you. And conversely, if you're on a PC, now you won't probably won't have access to Apple Safari. So you'll need to see the way that's going to look on um, a Mac. And a lot of people, um, if you're intent on going into web design as a career, um, will use old laptops and load older versions of uh, browsers onto them to take a look at their uh, products. Um, another way that um, people get around this is they'll go to um, a computer store like Best Buy or Fry's and take a look at um, their computers there and sort of get a preview of um, the way their uh, website's going to look. And again, you'll need to publish um, your website to a uh, web server before you're able to do that. But if you're just creating a website for your business and just want to check the way um, it's going to look on a Mac, or conversely, if you don't have a Windows machine and want to see the way uh, your site's going to look in Internet Explorer, that can be um, an option for you as well. So that's a little bit about um, some of the different preview tools that um, um, Dreamweaver gives you. And again, the most important thing to remember is don't depend on design view or live view. Always preview in an actual browser. And again, for Internet Explorer, make sure you're previewing it after you've actually uploaded it to a web server. So the site is actually live um, for that preview. And that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one.